Jay McCullough reporting live here. I'm here with Nick Lindsay. Nick, how you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, ran into Nick on, uh, we didn't know each other uh, way back from Oakland Grace, but he uh, gave me an anonymous tip that wasn't so anonymous because he used his, his actual name. The, um, <laughs> the vodka slice at Alessio's, which I then recognized as the grandma slice. Yes. So we had to come over here, and I've had this many times, bring my mom here for lunch. Okay. Uh, you, when were you first introduced this? So my wife and I got it about a year ago, like somewhere into quarantine. Is that the first pizza you had here? <clears throat> no, I had their regular slices, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. but then got introduced to the grandma, and they used to not have vodka sauce on right, it. It was just the regular grandma. The regular yeah, grandma, yeah. which is also legit. I was delighted when I saw it. And then they added vodka sauce, and vodka sauce takes everything to the next level. It does, it does. So. And then here we got the Metro pizzas. Uh, if you're getting these, the box is like literally as long as the table we're recording on. Yeah, so 30 inches. Just came in and rolled them out in a wheelbarrow. Right, um, that's Luke in the background. You can probably hear him. He's, he's, he's on duty today. Uh, Nicest so. owner in Hoboken. Yep, yep. Out of any of them. Very strong social media presence. Hi, Luca. Yeah, we're live. You, you want to pop your head in? Say hi. So, right there. We're sitting there. Oh! Yeah. Hi! Hi, that's Luca right there. Oh, wait up. Uh, hopefully, his head is still in the frame. Yeah. Um, so, I'm just going to throw a little bit of. Uh, you like some, whoa, that's it. Would you like some red pepper? Yeah. Not that much. So, yeah. So, it's a modest little uh, So, we tried to time these. We also got the Leonardo sandwich coming up. I keep leaning into the camera to talk, but we have these nice Bluetooth mics. Yeah. Um, so we got a Leonardo sandwich. That uh, my mom loves. That is a breaded eggplant uh, with roasted red peppers. So hopefully that'll come out in a few minutes. But hard to time it. This has been sitting for a little bit, but it's still very nice. Mm-hmm. You also have you ever ordered a whole pie? We got some oh, good crunch. crunch. So. As, as, as you were, as you were cutting it, you said you did. Yeah, I was crunch. saying I'm sad that I didn't cut this on camera because. When I cut this in half and snapped it, it just made such a beautiful crunch. Yeah, one of those right out of the oven is, is wonderful. And the, the pizzas here are not, they, there's pizza inflation all over Hoboken. I remember when yeah. Geo's used to be about 75 a slice. <laughs> and then they, they said all oh, the price of flour. Well, when was school for you? I mean, well, that yeah, was... that was like 2004. <laughs> and then they raised, there's like flour and cheese went up. It's like, maybe it'll come back down and never went down. It keeps going up, up, up. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these slices don't break the bank. Um, Napoli's is another a favorite of mine. I am a, uh, I think it's basil. Basil's down by the back, yep. Yeah. Oh, now, they are right super right expensive for some really? odd reason. What is the slice run of basil? I think it's like $4 now for a plain cheese. Yeah. Nothing compared to artichoke pizza, which I think is highway robbery. Yeah. No, that is, that is <laughs> clearly. I used to pay six bucks for one of those in Chelsea. Yeah. But on the west side of town, out here, so pizza place. this is not a compliment, but they are the crumbs of pizza. So crumbs. Oh, remember when? Bakery. Yeah, remember when Crumbs Bakery was like one or two locations? It was phenomenal. Yeah. You got a really good cupcake. Yep, yep. They franchise, and then you just end up with this rubber pizza. And when you have things like crab. And, yeah, I like the original location. Yeah. Oh. I also got a uh, ice latte here. Uh, Nick hardly recommended the, what was it, the espresso. The espressos here are really like good. Like a little, little porcelain cup. Yep. You feel like a real Italian. So. Can you get a little kid t-shirt inside? Yep. Very nice. Uh, I'm going to dig into half of this. Would you like the yep. side with the more cheese or dealer's choice here? Uh, Go ahead. Okay. I'll, I'll, take, I'll take this piece yeah. here. Right, coming for lunch is great because these are literally were just made a few minutes ago. So what I really enjoy about this one is this might seem like a weird comment, but you can taste like the olive oil that it's kind of baked in that like just really gives it a lot of flavor. So you know it's more than just crust; you have a lot of flavor inside of it that just really complements the rest of the pizza. And then you know, I mean. There's there's some pizza places that are gonna throw a basil on, but not like this. This is a, yeah. This is good amount of basil. You can definitely also tell that it's like fresh basil because it hasn't you know turned awful colors. Yep. <laughs> or it was put on at the proper time is another thing. Oh. Um, really. And it's not loaded like a typical Sicilian slice. Mm -hmm. Like the I do like I, I do, my fond memory of Giovanni is loves their Sicilian slice. But that's like a, a giant Joey Mars contrast. This is yeah. You don't feel dirty after eating it. No. No. Um, the other thing I love about this too is when, when we order it for takeout. By the way, this is a good takeout place because they have like excellent parking right here on 6th Street. Thanks to the you, 
Well, the zip cars are never here on the weekends. So it makes you just, you dive in real quick, you grab your pizza, you're not double parking, you're not blocking anyone, you're not in the street. Yeah, so it makes it really easy to pick up quickly. Um, but then you get the nine slices, which I feel like for a family is like excellent, because then my wife... Oh, you're getting the square pie. Because it's a square pie, right? Do you fight over the center slice, or you want No, the so that goes to the kids. I actually want the edge. Yes, that goes to the kids. Yeah, as a kid, I always wanted the, the middle slice, to can't even pick it up. So yeah, it's so like our sandwich. Yeah. Now, now, what else do the menu have you explored? So they also have really excellent salads here. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, we did. We, you pointed out the croutons on the way in. Yeah, so they make their own croutons, which sounds crazy. As, like, what's so special about croutons? But I think because they because they put those croutons in the oven, like it gets that like that sooty, that good soot, right? I mean, I have it on my fingers right now that like it, it, it feels like cold. I know it's not cold, but whatever it is, yeah. Is on those croutons, and they're just so delicious. Same thing with the olive oil. You can tell that they like olive oil, those bread pieces. Yeah, they do have a few things that they sell here, which is maybe some of the same, same ingredients that they're using. But uh, if you want like a fancy olive oil or uh, some jarred peppers and stuff, they got a, a, a yeah. nice little focused selection here. Now, the thing I haven't got to yet is the gelato. I haven't had that yet. So, I mean, there's a lot of gelato. I mean, the laboratory is opening soon. Yeah. Be some competition there. There's like three places, so we got a future crawl coming on. on uh, a future gelato crawl. On gelato. Uh, so. How did the taco crawl go? Did the taco crawl last week? Taco crawl was last week. Does well. It's, it's a staple. I always did have you, it the second week of this. Taco taco. Yeah, yeah. No, but that was a great tip. I got it about five minutes too late. <laughs> Um, Are you at the, I see you're at the Chelsea Market location. Yeah. I've only, had that, uh, I've only been at the Chelsea Market. I know there's the other ones in Times Square. Right below our office in One day. Oh my gosh. And the breakfast burritos, which are now up to maybe about five or six bucks, they used to be about four. Yeah. And those are just, we got those all the time. I love yeah. that more than the day. But man, it's just, it always looks. Actually, the winner last week was their like sister location, the fish one that they have. I can't, I can't remember what it's pronounced. I'm also horrendous in Spanish, so that, that's, that's part on me. But, um, oh, but that was in the first one, like, you don't want meat. Yeah, yeah, you could go to the Japanese one, but everyone picked the fish one this time. The last time I went, nobody wanted fish. Also, was also like, in Chelsea Market. Yeah, which okay. is hilarious because apparently it translates to the seafood. And, we'll cut that out of post, don't worry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it translates to the seafood in Spanish. In, in Spanish. So I like when I looked it up, I was like, I wonder what this word means. And I looked it up in the, the seafood. seafood. So I posted like, what an idiot I am that I picked this place and it's called the seafood. And then someone corrected me uh, and said, even more specific, it's the shellfish. <laughs> so like taking people to like, it's already hard enough getting some people to all agree to seafood. So then also go to the shellfish route. And what's the fish tacos? It's fish tacos and they have shrimp. So the shrimp ones okay. are the is, ones. Is this co-located in the fish market? It is. Market no, it's right off of uh, Los Tacos number one. You go through this like secret door okay, so and then it's on the other side right there. But When we worked down there and I used to get, this is before the big, uh, Archo Pizza was there. We yeah. would go in and get fit. We were we used to get sushi all the time. We were like, we just go buy salmon from this place. Mm -hmm. And we were just gorging ourselves with salmon because it's like that price that you pay at a sushi place. And then someone was like, you guys worried about mercury poisoning. <laughs> the kibosh on that and we lowered it down once a week. Uh, but Chelsea Market, I remember that was a, and that the produce store is still there. We used to go there and just get fresh ingredients. Yeah. And, another sandwich shop. Yeah. It's not the same as it used to be. But that's one of those things though, like, have you ever met someone who's gotten mercury poisoning? I no, haven't. Like you hear about it. Though. So that's like what one of those things where like, we were really fearful about like mercury poisoning or like, I feel like the other one too is like, um, E. coli. Like, yeah, it comes up everywhere. There's yeah. Lettuce recalls. Like, E. coli can't get right. Taco Bell for six months. Yeah. Like I was going to get I've never been in E. coli recall. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this place is got a ton of variety of stuff. I know people are always looking for Italian cookies, like the little ones that used to sell. If you have a party to get some, uh, if you're getting Shoytel, I do recommend just going to Tom's. Yeah. But if you're on a, if they're unavailable, this is another great location. I don't know if they make them here though. But, I um, don't think, and similar, we were just at Dolce & Swato a few weeks ago, and they get their stuff delivered. Yeah. So the sandwich we have here, I'm pretty confident, I know they at least put the buns in the oven. I don't know if they make oh, them here, so we'll have to ask them right here. Yeah. But uh, he's, he's Luca. Been Luca. Luca. Luca, are you making this bread here? Is this, Do you make the buns here? Is this important? Yeah. Uh, we make here every, every hour. Every couple hours. We're making every the bread every hour. hour. Every hour. So okay. with work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, because that's always. You've never seen us making bread? I've seen you put it in the oven. Yeah, then. 
So I didn't know if you were making it in the back and then you put it in the No, no, we... Important for the paintings. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so my mother loves the sandwich. We get it all the time. Mm. This is eggplant, uh, really thin and breaded. And not like the chintzy bread. This is like a, a homemade bread. It's, it's not uniform. It's not like it's a... Uh, it's not like battered or anything. So there's a proper proper dip. Some mozzarella in there, some roasted red peppers, um, a bit of uh, honey mustard aioli, and some lettuce on there. Okay, so this doesn't surprise me at all. Everything at Alessio is, is just like, like, it's not like, I think it's like, every ingredient that they use is thought out ahead of time, I think, at least. And so there's nothing extra to it. Yeah, if you have the breakfast sandwich. Having you are missing out my so here's here's my problem with with the way I eat in Hoboken in a general when I find my item I am loyal to my item what is your breakfast so I haven't eaten my way around here I haven't been by much for breakfast they do have donuts here um, yes. they're called something else I forget what the Italian word is for it we'll get a judge's ruling on that yeah later. but uh, uh, Luca Luca what do you call the donuts. There's a, there's a word for the donut here that's yeah. not donut. Bomboloni. Bomboloni. There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> All right, that's the last time we'll buy this. <laughs> yeah. But, okay, uh, so, so your focus, your loyalty item here is the pizza. Yeah. Okay, now do you have a loyalty item for a breakfast sandwich? I haven't, but I think I need to start having more breakfast sandwiches The, the bodega here. down the street, the local general store. I've not been disappointed. I used to go to Fran's with my own roommate. I'm a, a lovely breakfast sandwich before they close down. I'm a JP's guy. JP's on the bagel or for like bagels. On a bagel, okay. And then mid this is gonna sound hilarious. Midweek, O bagel. So O bagel. So well, like on the weekends is for red. I kinda wanna bring my own bagel to O bagel <laughs> because I, I like Hoboken hot bagels, but they microwave everything there. Yes. Which I just I can't maybe for eggs, but definitely not for bacon. But I love their bagel. Oh, bagel, their bagel is, is nothing special. No. Their breakfast sandwiches are over the top. Bring the envelope. You know when you break it in half an O bagel, you can tell whether you got a legit bagel or not. Like, because sometimes you break it in half and you feel like you just got a roll that has everything bagel season. On the outside, yes. Yeah, right? Yes. And it's just like that's not a bagel. So, but midweek, they get it right. Oh, so it's really the weekend. So rush. I think it's the demand that. Okay, like, so, maybe, so I, yeah. we typically only get them on the weekends. So yeah. I'll have to infer our. But the weekends is also when they're just slaves. Yeah. So I mean, it's it's insane. So. What are your thoughts on the sandwich here? Sandwich is great. I, I've had super it. crunchy. So the, the bread actually think is not as pressed as it usually is. It's a more toasted panini. Okay. Another thing that it's is. Today. We're not going to see this detail. This tomato is salted. I'm which, <laughs> So is, this is another sign of good here. food. There's salt on the tomato? Tomatoes are, are fairly, salted. Wow. fairly bland. Okay. That's that's we're never gonna get that right angle again. He just brought um, us the Bombo oh, What a mensch. Man. What a mensch. Thank Amazing. you, thank you, Luca. Bomboloni. This man So just to show you, I mean these are warm too. Are these warm? So you break them. Oh! Oh they're warm! <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so oh, super fluffy. You got the Nutella inside. It doesn't have the pizza oven still on it. But I think, no, it doesn't. Uh, I think it's a different oven. These are, a different, these are in a different oven, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, but I, what I find it's amazing Nutella. is like, it's also warm enough that the Nutella hasn't like melted. To, no, it's like so uncontrollable. Cold, yeah. So, like I'm able to give these to my like you kids. You don't want to open this. And, and they don't like yeah. turn into And a, a fresh mess. dusting of powdered sugar here? Yeah. So, but just actually. Break out the latte again for this. <laughs> but so so good. I usually add a little sugar, but I'm I'm actually happy I didn't because I, you mentioned the espresso. Yeah. I, could, I needed more liquid. I think I told you. Physically, I needed something more to drink. It's a pretty warm day. Uh, but I get to taste the quality of the coffee here, and you can also get beans here. I believe. I do see people coming here and they buy their their local one to take home. This is a delight. Yeah. That's been a big change for me. I I've just recently started doing espresso. I hope. For a cup. So I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings a lot, and they're usually over coffee. And I've read that so I think black the, fresh, the espresso is less caffeine because I think of how quickly it's like pulled through. Okay, versus getting like a tall drip coffee, here. right? But I also just like not having to like like drink it just a ton of liquid because I just feel like if I have more than one coffee, like I have. Like oh, but you can done. fill in two, three espresso so, over the course of the day. Yeah. 
This is why when we were talking about the coffee crawl, like I'm the one coffee guy. So when, so when my team brought me that, I was like, who's gonna drink 24 ounces of coffee? And like half of them were like, absolutely. So yeah, I usually will do like an espresso one and then get a pastry at another. And, and then go back to a coffee. Yeah, and then maybe get a coffee. And you're still buying something. Or iced coffee or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we brought VB bubble tea into Shake Shack. Oh, um, did for, for, for the toddler. Yeah. Because we were going to give her a Shake Shack. And um, yeah. the, uh, the, the chicken teriyaki bowl there. Very nice. We sat in the back. Really nice open seating in the back there. Mm -hmm. uh, Shake Shack is uh, so much more pleasant than the, what I remember it being in New York. Mm -hmm. Although the, the flat iron waiting in line in that big park like 10, 12 years ago before Shake Shack exploded their franchise. I was thinking about that recently of just like. It's like there's no reason to do that anymore. You just no. have the app and you just pick it up. It's not the same. No. We used to wait. We would go there, get all the Shake Shack for the office, get in a taxi and go back to the west side of yeah. the Chelsea market. I also find it funny how much people, people in Hoboken are really angry that like Shake Shack moved in here. And it just makes me laugh because it's like, what? what is a local business? Like is a local business only allowed to be one location? Because literally it started 10 minutes from here. Like, and, and then we're flipping out. Come yeah, and we're yeah. flipping out that like we like have. Mamoons, Mamoons is here. That's also in, in that same kind of sense. So I didn't realize that Mamoons was a branch or like a national franchise. Oh, okay. Oh, it's and national now. I, I saw it in Atlanta. Okay. So I was in like Atlanta Kamal for guys. a conference. Like, guys just jumped the shark. Yeah, but I couldn't believe when I saw it in Atlanta. I was like, Mamoons down here. This is crazy. But so. I, that's why I found out Shake Shack expanded. I just remember it was like Upper East Side and Flatiron. My parents yeah. were on vacation in Florida. No, like we had Shake <laughs> Excuse me, we had Shake Shack. Yeah. And I, I did a uh, mansplain on my mom. I was like, Mom, Shake Shack is only in New York City. <laughs> and then I, she's like, Okay, maybe I was mistaken. I go on, I apologize to her for this. I go online and I'm like, Dubai and London. And all the, now they're all over the place. Yep. Um, the other one that you don't realize is, is nationwide now, too, is Grimaldi. So I was visiting really? my brother in Dallas. Grimaldi's like right in his town. I was just like, like, are they doing cold pizza on each other? Yeah. That's a fun Wikipedia page, by the way. The Grimaldi's. So the Grimaldi's one because there's technically like three Grimaldi's. Oh, so the way like, the split up, yeah. Yeah, the way that they split up and then like one of them has franchised it. The one in Hoboken isn't related to the other ones that are nationwide, but like they're all very similar so in what they're, <laughs> what they're yeah, making. White man. Yeah. A little slider burgers. That, no, some, of that, right? some of that beats up. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, that's the problem with these Bluetooth mics. I can't step away from the camera, which is fine. That's um, and on that bomb, on that bombaloni. Yeah. Uh, Nicholas, thanks for joining us. It's yeah. A pleasure. We're gonna get finish eating right. before we. Yeah. I'm gonna drink more of this latte. Yeah. And uh, we'll see how quickly <coughs> upload this video. And uh, shout out to Luca. Thanks for giving us. It's a, a great venue here. Uh, come yeah. for lunch. It's great. Sit inside, stay outside. Uh, they didn't pay us to record this. It's not like no. Hobo Bee Girl. Uh, we're, just, <laughs> we're just doing this because we like the food. <laughs> so uh, I'm sure that one's going to bite us later. Uh, take care. Have a lovely Wednesday afternoon. Bye-bye.